Hi, I'm Candy Michael from Powell, Ohio, and welcome. My website is candystampers.com, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys using the Friendly Flamingo Bundle from Stampin' Up. This bundle is in our mini catalog and will sadly be retiring at the end of the month here in June, but it's on page 43 of our mini catalog, and it is a great stamp set, especially for those summer loving friends and family. So I have a couple of really cute birthday cards to show you. One of them's a pocket card and <clears throat> you can do so many different cards with this pocket, with this pocket card. So it's fun to just learn a, a technique or a template for a card so that you can use it for anything that you want. So welcome. I'm glad you're here. And let me get started. Hi, Debbie and Nancy. I just happened to look up and see a couple of names that are here. So thanks for joining me. So I've been gone for a little while, did some traveling, was very blessed to have earned a stamping up trip to Hawaii. So hi, Karen. And so I ended up stopping in California to visit my dad on the way back. And now I'm back home. So I've been home for a couple of days trying to get everything ready. And just, it's, you know how it is. It's just always crazy after a nice vacation. So today I want to show you a couple of cards. And I do have cards that I made um, before the last catalog retired. So they'll have a few retired items on it. But, <clears throat> excuse me, but today's cards are all current products. So the first card I want to show you I will be using our embossing folder. Oh, of course, I don't have the name in my head. Oh, textured textile, I believe, is coming to mind. And I'm quickly looking it up in my book. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Hey, tasteful textiles. Pretty good. I was kind of close. And, um, those are found on page 155 of the new catalog. And by the way, if you don't have our new annual catalog, let me know. I'm happy to get one to you. So I did already run this through the machine and it gives just a little, like a little subtle texture to it, which I like. Sometimes I don't want it to be too pronounced. So this is like the perfect, perfect one. So I'm using one of our new in colors that is called Magenta Madness. And it's a very bright pink, um, almost like a fuchsia type color. And <clears throat> normally I don't use really bold colors like that. So I feel like it's a little, a little different for me to try. So I'm very excited about it, but it's perfect for a flamingo because our flamingos are pink, right? So what I did was I cut a quarter sheet at five and a half by four and a quarter and then I cut a piece of our new papaya, pale papaya. Let me say it fast, pale papaya paper. It's actually cardstock, but this is going to be layered on, on top. So these are just basically quarter sheets that I'm using. And I'm using our mono liquid, uh, liquid glue. Love this glue. And on this one, you can really use either side of your embossed piece. So I am going to use um, just, I'm just going to use this side and figure that it's, it's, uh, it looks good. So I'm just going to glue that on. Now the next part to this pocket card is, is kind of interesting because you actually need two pieces that are cut at, let me have both of them here that are cut at the, um, same in the same size. So let me explain this. So this piece is four inches wide by three, darn it, three and a half inches tall. <laughs> Thank goodness for a ruler. And so I cut two of them. And the reason I cut two of them, and you can use any kind of pattern. Patterns work really well um, that are like this, that you can turn them and flip them and they don't have to go in one direction. So I cut two of these. And the reason I did that is because I need to split them so that I 
can like mix and match. Did I do that? I did that the wrong way. Uh, let me see. That one like that. That one went like that. No, it didn't. Oh my God. All right, let me put this together the right way. So the four inches, there we go. The four inch along the bottom has to be the same. And so you need two different pieces. Otherwise you're gonna have them, you're gonna have to flip it and it just wouldn't look right. So you want them to be the same, um, the same size along the bottom. So you'll need two pieces and then you'll just divide them up. But when you have your pieces, you do wanna cut one at an angle this way and then the second piece, you have to cut it in the opposite way. And you know what? I'm just going to get a piece of paper and show you. It's going to make so much more sense. So let me grab this. And I was going to do that anyway. But I wasn't even thinking. So let me grab my paper. And I'm going to grab a piece that's retired. It'll make it easier for me to cut and it'll make more sense for you. So I'm going to cut a piece at, because this really is the most important part to making this pocket. So I want to cut them at four inches for sure. And then the next cut is at three and a half. So we're going to cut it at three and a half. So it's not a perfect square. And we need two of these. Okay, three and a half. And again, this is just some retired paper. So I want my four inch to be at the bottom. But when I cut this, I need to cut one at an angle, keeping my four inch to the bottom. And it has to go at angle, uh, corner to corner. So I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna cut this piece and I'm going to set it aside. And the reason I'm having to cut another one is because I need this four inch piece to be at the bottom, but now I have two that are at the, the wrong angle. Unless I flipped it over, then it wouldn't work. Then it would work, but otherwise it doesn't come out correctly. So that's why I need to cut two pieces. So that one I cut at an angle this way. Now I need to go at the other corner. I hope that makes sense. Otherwise, you're going to come up with the same thing. You're going to come up with the same exact cut. So we need to go the opposite corner. So now, this piece, if you look, your cuts are just a little bit different. And now you can keep this one with that one. And then this one. This piece will go with that piece. Ta-da! Hopefully that makes sense for you. But as long as your four inch stays at the bottom, I would suggest just use a piece of computer paper or printer paper and just like mark them. Just start cutting so it makes more sense to you before you start cutting out your designer paper because that's what I had to do. Otherwise, you could go through a lot of designer paper and, and I don't want you to be frustrated. I want it to work well for you. All right. So now I have my um, base and then I have my papaya, which is my next piece. So the paper I'm using is, oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. This is the, let me make sure I grab the right pieces. So this paper, I want this one. It had more of the papaya on it. This paper is called the, I wrote it down, Expressions in Ink. Hi, Charlotte. Oh my goodness. Nice to hear from you. Expressions in Ink. And so that is what this paper is. So I'm going to put this down, but I do need to use some of our terrible tape. And I love it because it's terrible. That makes sense, right? So this is our tape. And those of you that watch me know I love to call it terrible tape because you can pull it off and tear it. Therefore, it's terrible. And it's terribly wonderful. So I'm going to put this down only on my bottom edges here along the side because I've created a pocket. Oops. Okay, come on down right about here because I want to create a pocket. So I have to be careful where I'm gonna put my tape. So 
So we're going to put this right about there. All right, so another helpful tip that I have learned in order to pull this paper up is to use your piercing tool on your pick a tool and it will help you pull that paper and so you're not fussing with your nails and trying to pull it up. So this will just help get right underneath there and pick up just the paper. There we go. Makes it a little easier. And then I'll do the same on this one. So this is my right side and I'm going to just put it right in the corner with the papaya. Just gonna line it up there. Okay, see how nicely that fits? So now this one has to go right across the top. And so I shall put my tape along the same direction. Hi Mavis, welcome. So this one will go right down here. Oops, a little too long, but that's okay because I can fold it back up. And then this one will go right here. You guys, I love this card. Um, the whole way to make the pocket is really easy as long as you understood the first part what I was telling you about the DSP. <laughs> I know I made it a little more complicated, but hopefully by me showing you how to cut it will make a little more sense. Okay, so now this paper is just so pretty. I wanna go ahead and put this down. Stamping Up does have some awesome designer paper. So I was gonna use some white on here, but it was just too bright with this paper. So I decided to go ahead and pull out some of the papaya color and of course the um, magenta madness. So next I have my little piece that's gonna go inside. So I chose, I was gonna say, my God, I hope I didn't glue it shut, I didn't. So I chose another piece of the magenta and this is four by, it's four inches long, sorry, four and a quarter inches long by three quarters, three inches wide. Sorry, I'm thinking I was cutting this piece last. That's why I'm confused. So it's four inches, four and a quarter inches long or tall and three inches wide. And then this piece is going to go right on top. And so our white would then be four inches by two and three quarters. So I'm going to do my stamping on here before I glue it down in case I either need to turn it over or get a fresh piece, right? <laughs> because that usually happens. You're just gonna, I might just make a little boo-boo, so I'm okay with that. All right, let me go ahead and ink up my flamingo. So this stamp set is really cool. Stamping Up came up with a die that is the flamingo, the big one, and then it also has the die to cut him out. But I'm going to just go ahead and stamp it right on here. But then they also have, there's no stamp that matches this. It's just the die cut. And I've already die cut that out. And so, um, so I'll show you that. But I just wanted to show you the two different flamingos. Sometimes in our stamp sets, they don't have the same exact thing in the, um, from the stamp set to the dies. But this is cool because it has the one flamingo that we're going to stamp and cut out. And then it has another flamingo that you can um, just die cut. So it's kind of fun. So let me go ahead and ink him up. I'm going to call him a him, a he. Probably should name him. How about Fred the Friendly Flamingo? There you go. So this is Fred. Fred, meet your friends out in Facebook land. So I am going to stamp Fred. There's a shadow on here, so I can't see it that well, but I'm just gonna put it down and stamp. So with this being a larger stamp, I always wanna hold onto my stamp and then just walk my stamp around, my hand around and give it a nice, good stamping image, pressure. Ooh, Fred, you look very sharp and dapper today. So let's go ahead and Put Fred aside. 
I will be using Fred on the next card. But we might have to call it or her Frederica. So we have Fred here, and the next one will be Frederica. How's that? <laughs> I love to amuse myself. Okay, so this piece also I'm going to stamp some words on here. And with this one, I'm using the stamp that says, hoping your day is as amazing as you. Hoping your day is as amazing as you are. I knew I didn't read that right. I'm going to use the Pale Papaya. And it's going to be a little bit lighter, but I wanted to kind of pull all the colors together. So it helps if I stamp it in the right direction. And yes, I have it. So we're going to just put this up here. This will give you a little bit of room for you to still write your message down here. Sign your name, send kisses, all of the above. Hi, Polly and Michelle. Polly, all the way from Colorado. Welcome and welcome back to the Stampin' Up! world. Okay, so now that that's done, you still have a little bit of room here to write your message. So let's glue Fred onto the... Uh, Magenta Madness. Hi, Paula. Okay, we're going to glue Fred down right here. I guess this one could be Frederica because it is pretty pink and lots of flowers, but I'm sticking with Fred. Okay, so now Fred can go in the pocket. Oops, I didn't put that much glue on the corner there, but it can go in the pocket. And look how cute. Do you like it? So you can even kind of pull it up a little bit or stamp Fred a little bit higher. I just wanted to have enough room up here for my words. So I'm not done yet. I decided I had to add a little bit more. So I die cut out of these dies. This is the flamingo. Of course, when it's die cut, it goes in this direction. So I cut this little guy out. This is little Fred. And then you have a, an option of two different wings. <laughs> These are your wing options. You have wing option A or wing option B. So I went with wing option A. And the reason I did that is because it die cuts out and it gives it a little bit of an impression there, like a little embossed impression. And that way it's going to have a little bit more to kind of help it stand out. And it's a flamingo, so it has to stand out, right? <laughs> so I'm going to use on my wing one of our dimensionals, and I probably, oh, I better go with a mini dimensional because that looks like it's um, a little bit, it's going to be a little iffy if I use the big one. So on here, I love our mini ones because they they really do work very nicely. So now I can give little Fred a little wing. And look at how cute. So when I was playing around with this, I thought, oh my goodness, look at how perfectly that fits right there. So let's glue this little guy down. And again, using the multi-liquid glue. Oops, I just broke his leg. Sorry, for little Fred. For some reason, I feel like I'm all thumbs today. Ooh, let's get some on your beak there. A little bit on your back, and just a little bit on your feet. I don't know what their feet are called, but we'll call them a foot. Okay, let's see if I have to move it over a little bit, right? Oh, perfect. I was amazed when I was playing with this that it was the right size. Sometimes you just get lucky. All right, next I want to do and use this happy birthday. So, you know, when you're um, cutting out your paper, like if you're cutting this, this particular layer when you're um, making your cards, you always end up with an extra half inch here. So I love to keep these little white scraps. I probably keep, I probably keep too many. But um, sometimes I have to just say, throw it away, Candy, just throw it away. Because otherwise I have a whole drawer full. But anyway, I have kept quite a few of these and I'm going to use it for my scraps so that I can stamp my little happy birthday. 
And let me guess about how big I want that. I should have measured it. Mm. Okay, probably about two and a half inches because I had cut one earlier today and just wanted to make sure it was all going to fit. So let me just cut this down to like two and a half inches. Right around there, you're going to make it into a little banner at the end. So it won't matter as long as it's close to that. Okay, so I'm going to hold my breath and make sure I get this on straight. Okay, here we go. I can barely see it, but wish me luck. Oh, it's crooked. Okay, we're going to do it again. Only this time I'm pulling it closer to me instead of under the camera so I can see it a little bit better. I'm trying to see if it's crooked or not. And if it's crooked, I'm going to use the one I did earlier. Okay, holding my breath. Oh, it came out straight. It's not perfectly in the middle, but I'm going to use it because it works. Not everything is going to be perfect, and I'm okay with that, right? In the real world, you could throw it away and keep going. I have, I actually have quite a few of these, so I could keep going, but I'm not going to. It looks good enough. So what I'm going to do is cut this down just a little bit more so that my um, flag won't be as long. A little bit of glue on there. And right before I went live, I put my scissors down and couldn't find them. So I just grabbed another pair. Who knows where I put them? They're probably right here on my table and I just can't see them. But anyway, so now I'm going to put this little flag. Mm. Well, I was going to put it there. I'm still going to put it there. So I'm going to put this little flag here. It's not actually in the center, but I think it looks beautiful. <laughs> ah, and it'll work just fine. So I have a lot of scraps, like I said. If you are one of my perfection customers, I totally understand that you would want it a little longer. But most of you that know me, like this is perfect. So I'm putting this right there. And I do love using this glue because I have a little bit of time to move that. So that's what's perfect about it. All right. And then one more little detail to this. In our new catalog, we have these loose flowers. And they are super cute. They're these little tiny plastic flowers. They're adorable. And I know the uh, colors are the papaya. And I believe they're the same magenta. And then that might be our new um, is it fuchsia. Oh, my God. I'm still learning my colors. <laughs> you think by now I would know. But now I'm going to have to look so I can tell you. And I'm sure somebody will type it in. One of my sweet friends will say, Candy, the nut color is fresh freesia. Freesia. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know how to pronounce it. But, yes. It's cute. So I'm going to use this with a glue dot. The glue dots, this is not the right glue dots. These were some old ones that I had. Um, these are our, where is it? They put them on at a different angle now. They used to be on this side of the paper. So I'm going to just pop that off and add that right here to my little banner. Oh. Look how cute, and that's my card. So I love this DSP, it's gorgeous. It has a gold foil in it, and it's just beautiful. I love it. And now you have a really cute pocket card that you can do all sorts of things. You could put gift cards in there, you can put money, checks. You could make even graduation cards using this because anybody, everybody loves to have like a little pocket card. And it's just different, you know. Just something different. And if you want to have more area to write on, you can always flip this over and add a panel of white. And then that way you'll have more room to write a letter. So just another thought. Okay. I have one more card I want to show you while I'm making it. But then I have a couple more that I've already made 
<clears throat> that I'll share with you. Sorry, I feel like I have a frog in my throat. Better. Okay, so this is more of our new in colors, which I love the new in colors. If you have not had a chance to see them, wow, when they first came out, you know, like anything when there's change and you just go, oh, more colors. But the more I'm playing with them, the more I realize they are really, really pretty. So our in colors are the Fresh Farisha, the Polished Pink, Evergreen, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya. So I was using the um, Pale Papaya and the Magenta Madness, which has been out already. But now I'm going to use the Soft Succulent on this one. So I'm using the same DSP, and the DSP, again, is our inks, I'm sorry, our expressions in ink. So I've already cut my pieces. This is my soft succulent, and it is cut at seven and a quarter inches, and then I scored it at three inches. And then your front flap is just a little bit smaller. So I've now cut my designer paper, which is the same piece. I, I fell in love with this and I thought it worked nicely with the Flamingo. So it's two and three quarter inches wide. And then it's going to be five and a quarter inches tall. And this is the piece that's going to go right here on the front. You guys, this is such an easy card to make. I love the whole template on this. I was in a card swap while I was in Hawaii on the island of Maui with Stamping Up. And I got a really cute card that was made with the peaches, the peaches paper. Let's put it up this way. And I was so excited because I loved the template as well. The card was adorable, but I also loved the template. And sometimes that's all we need is to come up with a, a cute card idea and then you can just start making birthday or anything that you want all right so now this little piece is going to go here on the flap and this is another one of the pieces out of that same pack and this is one and a half inches by five and a quarter oops so we're going to go ahead and glue that on happy happy it's so feels so nice to be back, but I'll tell you what a relaxing time we had. Just so much fun. And I was so blessed to spend like three weeks uh, with my husband, just having exploring and just having a blast and seeing a lot of old friends and making new friends too. That's the part I mostly love about it. So we're going to put this down. Now I want to make sure that I line this up with my other piece. And so I think that's going to be fine. Pull it down just a little bit. But I kind of wanted to make sure that that all lined up as well across here. So that looks good. So on here, I wanted that little bit of the gold showing up. Now, very simply, I punched out a piece of the piece of papaya with one of our um, punches. Uh, I think it's called the postage. Well, you would have thought I would have done my homework ahead of time. But, you know, I always think I'm going to remember these names when I grab it. <laughs> it's just going to roll off the top of my head, but I should know better. It's called the Rectangle Postage Stamp Punch. That's what I'm using. So with this one, I am going to stamp first. We want to stamp first, Candy. Uh, I'm going to use the Magenta Madness because it's part of the pink. Yep, that's what I'm doing. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, stamp it right about there. Ooh, that came out pretty. And I'm not a big pink person, but this pink is pretty bright, but I um, I don't know. It's making me very happy, so happy, happy. Okay, what's next? Next, I want to stamp my flamingo. This is going to be Frederica. 
Remember I told you the other one was called Fred. We're going to call this one Frederica because I can. You can name your flamingos anything you want, but I thought that was a very good name. So we're going to go ahead. When you have a larger stamp like this, you can either tap it back and forth that way. This one's pretty skinny. You can also tap it this way. Either way. And then we're going to go ahead and it's a, it's a large stamp. So go ahead and put it down and holding on to it, just walk your fingers around so you get every little piece, toes to his nose, toes to his nose and make sure you press it down. And that way it doesn't move. Ooh, Frederica, how beautiful you look today. Very sharp, very charming. Okay, let me get my die cut board. Where, oh, where did I put you? Here it is. My little, because I'm going to use my little machine. My little boss, as Patty calls it. My little boss. And I'm going to die cut out the flamingo. Now, one of the tips that I want to show you is you can use a post-it note if you need. And I'm going to grab one right here. Um, if you don't have like a magnetic piece that's going to hold your die in place, you can use a um, piece of post-it note and I'll show you. So this piece obviously won't fit here. Let me move this out of the way. It's not going to fit. So let me go ahead and cut it down just a little bit so that it'll fit in my little machine. Perfect. So I have my, oops, this, I feel like I'm playing with like a, um, what do they call it? Easy bake oven, <laughs> something like that, because it's just so cute and little, but it works greatly. Oh my goodness. I'm all thumbs today. All right. So my die is going to go right on here. Can you guys see this? Let me see what I have in the camera. So my die is going to fit right over the top, but I noticed because I die cut one out earlier and I didn't have it lined up very well that um, I want to use a post-it note this time. Let's see if I can line that up. Come on, Frederica, don't be shy. I think we're going with that. So with a post-it note, you can put this on and then hopefully it doesn't move on you and then just fold that back. But then it won't slide around. And go. And I get my workout. Every time I use my little machine, I get my workout. And let's see if it cut nicely. There you go. Looking good, Frederica, looking good. All right, let me move this out of my way. And then I have my um, my little tag that we just did. Okay, bring it all back together, come back together. And then we are going to assemble. So I have my little uh, tag that's ready to go. And I am going to put some dimensionals on that. I think that'll look nice to give it a little bit of um, height. And then I want to put this here, but of course I don't want to put it there or I will glue my card shut. Yes, I have done that before. And that is not a good thing. So with this, I want to make sure that I'm on and I am and that I'm straight, come up a little bit higher, and inward a little bit more. Okay, does that look straight, you guys? I think so. And now we're gonna pop up our little flamingo and have Frederica right here as well. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. And she is a very bright, bright pink, I know. So I'm going to use some of the mini dimensionals and some of the bigger ones. 
And then for her feet, I will just use some glue. So just a couple little dimensionals. Deb Welch, I was thinking of you because I know how much you love flamingos. And you guys, I'm sad this set is going to be retiring at the end of June. So if it's something that you want, you'll want to get your orders in soon so that it doesn't go away before you get yours. Okay, so that's going to go like that. And I can go ahead and pop it on there. And then you can go back and glue the feet. That's just a little bit easier. I could have put the glue on it, but I'm kind of messy. So I'd probably smear it everywhere. And I really don't want to do that. So I'll just put a dot of glue. Come on, glue. There you go. And just tap that on. Isn't that cute? Super cute. Maybe I should add a flower too. I think I will. So these little flowers were the same ones that we were talking about before. Maybe, uh, oops. Keep your feet down, girl. Frederica, keep your feet down. Okay, so what do you guys think? Should I put a flower here? Oh, I have to give her a flower in her hair. Let's do it. Let's do that one. That's cute. Oops. Keep forgetting these glue dots are now rolled on the back side of the paper. Okay, little girl, here you go. I feel like I'm doing surgery. Not that I've ever done surgery, but I feel like I am. What do you think? Just very, very simple card, you guys. I love the template. Love the layout. Now that I've done that, I have to show you the peach card that I got the inspiration from. So you'll know, but it was with the peach set. But this is my flamingo card. This was the uh, peach one that I got. Look at how simple. Just a really super simple layout. So that's what brought me to making our flamingo card. So in here, you could, this color is still light enough. You can write your message on here. And if you really want, you could always put a little piece of white panel, but I'm going to leave it or the papaya color, but I'm just going to leave it like that. So that's my, these are my two cards that we made today, the pocket card and this cute little one. But the ones that I had made right before the catalog went out were, hi, Nancy were a couple of different cards. And these were with some products that we had before, but I really, I never got to show them off. So I wanted to at least show you in case you were looking for another template idea. So this was using the same color, the Madness, no, Magenta Madness. I have to keep reading the ink pad. And this was with some of the ribbon and stuff that had retired. But I did just die cut out a circle on this and I used the Granny Apple for the grass. I had to put another panel behind it and then added some of the magenta color here and a cute little banner, gave it a little texture with the die cut or the embossing folder. And this was some of the same color ribbon that we had. And then I didn't put anything on the inside, but that I just thought it was really cute and something different. And then this one was done with the um, melon mambo and blushing bride colors. And I love it, Just Be You. And this was with the mercury glass that we have. And that's still in the catalog. One side are the purples and pinks, and the other side are all silver. So they're very, very pretty. And then I just did a little coloring on these. And this one also has another embossing folder back there. I believe we retired this ribbon, and I didn't stamp anything inside. But I do love to show that I did the fold this way on the card. So these were just some of my fun flamingo friends and I wanted to share that with you today and again I love this new paper and um, I think you guys will love it too so get your stamps out and start stamping if you don't have this stamp set stop by candystampers.com I'm going to have the current uh, host code up so you can order and if you need a new catalog please let me know I'll be happy to send you one and thank you again for watching today and getting some 411 with me. And next week will be June 9th. On Wednesday, I will go back to my Wednesdays 
at 411 for some stamping fun. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening and a wonderful weekend. See you next week. Bye.